This week on Country Music Junkies, we have a new artist to introduce you to. I am very pleased to be joined by Regina Native, Alec Runyons. Alec, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me, Chief. Now, we're very pleased to be chatting with you. Not only are you a singer-songwriter from Regina, Saskatchewan, so a good Canadian boy, we are very excited to be talking to you because you've got a lot of really cool stuff going on with your music. Yeah, you bet. Um, yeah, lots of stuff happening right now. I've been playing for a long time, but but uh, yeah, things are really picking up these days. Well, take us back to the beginning, and for those fans who haven't necessarily heard your music yet, can you kind of take us back to when it all started for you? Uh, yeah, sure. It's kind of, it, you know, I, I don't look back too often, but it's kind of funny to see what what happened when you do reflect, and, and it was just sort of, you know, I've always loved to sing. I was never trained, but I always, you know, just I would walk home from school and I would sing, I'd make up songs, and I don't know why, it was just something I did. Um, and I guess it sort of developed from there, so I just, I, I liked singing, I started doing it, um, you know, and then people would, I would hear that, you know, hey, you're a good singer, and I didn't even realize that, I just thought everybody sang kind of thing. <laughs> and, and, and then so, it just, you know, I started playing a couple of bands through school, um, a couple of, of rock bands, and because that's when rock was cool and country wasn't cool. But I always was a country <laughs> fan, but there's no country bands then. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, and so it sort of just amalgamated into this thing. I remember at one point, I think I was kicked out of one of the rock bands because it wasn't, you know, rock enough, I guess. Okay. And, uh, yeah, and then I, and that was in high school, and I mean, then of course it was devastating, right? It right to heart, but, but then you look back at it and you can see that was the best thing that ever happened. So I remember one day I was just like, you know, I'm just going to do this thing on my own. I, I, like, I miss playing, and I'm going to go back to my roots, and I'm just, I'm going to do country. And, um, and it felt right, and I'm so happy I did, and I love every day of my life because of it. Oh, that's so great, and that's a, that's a great story. Now, how did songwriting kind of come into play? Have you always wanted to write music, or did that kind of develop as you started singing more? Um, well, you know, I never really thought of writing music up until, um, you know, there's a couple of high school years there where uh, we, we, me and the band at the time, we would sit down and write songs, and I didn't know if there was any kind of formula to it. We were just they were the ones who kind of played guitar at the time, and we came up with these melodies, and they were really catchy songs. And, and, um, and you know, so from there, I remember the first song that I wrote on my own after that big, you know, epiphany for me to, I'm really going to go back to my roots and do this thing on my own, become a solo artist. Um, uh, I was sitting in my parents' computer room, and I had great acoustics. And it was the morning, I had coffee, and the window was open, and, and it was just like, it was the perfect morning, and I wrote this tune called The Open Road, and and uh, it was just, you know, it just, it just felt right. So, and, and the song, you know, it's not the best song I ever wrote, but it was still a good country song, and it was really the first song I wrote solely on my own, and, and then, you know, just the more and more I get it, the better and better I got, and there's, you know, still a long ways to go, but it's getting better and better as, as I go through the years. That's awesome. Now, talk to us about your new single, Passenger Seat. It's available on your website, alecrenians.com. We'll put that link uh, with this video as well. But talk to us about that song and, and the kind of story behind the song. I really like it. It's it's definitely uh, perfect going into the summer. Yeah, well, well, thanks so much. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so this song, I, I you know, I kind of came up with, with sort of a melody, and you can, you can tell it's, it's sort of a somber sort of, uh, melody to it, and I sat down. I, I didn't realize. First of all, I'll just say I didn't realize the value of co-writing with somebody. And I always thought I I could just do all this on my own, and I'm, I'm you know I'm a really good songwriter. And then realized how much value there is to co-writing with somebody. Um, I sat down with Joni Delorier, and I thought this song would be perfect for her to co-write it with me. And uh, you could just tell she felt it right away. I was totally digging it, and. Um, so, so we really hit it off with our with our songwriting, absolutely. And the song is about, you know, we, we said it, it's really, it's about losing somebody more or less in a relationship. But in a sense, you know, it, it could be about somebody passing away. So somebody who was once there is no longer there, be it a relationship, you know, or, or any, any type of scenario. So, um, and everybody needs those kinds of songs. You need, you know, uh, you need a song to get you through sort of a, uh, a tough time. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, exactly. So um, I remember actually a friend of mine um, who wasn't really into country 
the musical, she had said, uh, she goes, why would anybody ever want to listen to a sad song? And it's like, you know, she must have never had a heartbreak or something in her life. That's, you know, that's, <laughs> that's what I thought because everybody needs those songs. Absolutely. No, I agree. And yeah. I mean, it's it's a great song. Now, what else can fans expect from that album? Um, well, I uh, I have another song out there. A uh, lot of co-writes on this album. There's a couple that I wrote on my own. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's fresh, it's current sounding. I recorded it out at the MCC studio in Calgary. Awesome. And they just did such, yeah, Dave and Johnny just did such great work on it. And all, all the musicians and all the writers. So I'm really, really, really proud and Now, you've had the experience of opening for Gord Banford, Aaron Pritchett, Rodney Atkins, some huge names in country music. What's that been like for you, and what have you taken away from those experiences? Um, when it comes to opening acts, I, it, it, it's a funny thing because, you know, you are a little bit nervous, but then you realize sort of what you're there for and what your job is, and it's to warm up the crowd. And I think, you know, the very first opening act I ever did, I, you know, I, I was Well, that's great. Now, we are going into currently the SCMA weekend, and you have been nominated for three SCMAs, uh, one for Male Vocalist, one for Fans Choice Entertainer, and one for Single of the Year for Little Bit of Sunshine, which you did uh, mention earlier. What's that like to be recognized in such a a huge way? Uh, Well, it's, um, you know, it's pretty exciting, I do have to say. (laughs) You know, you're only as good as the company you keep, and and you know that that fans' choice uh, category. I was, I was honestly a little bit surprised. I, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm extremely happy, and I have been working extremely hard. Um, but you know, I'm up there with Jeff Moskaluk and Cody Prevo, Wyatt, Mary Young, and those are recognizable names. Yeah, it's just honestly, it's just really good to be to be in that category uh, with names like that. Um, and you know, same goes for for all, all the you know the male artist category. That's you know, there's so many good artists and great singers and writers. Um, you know, along with the, uh, the song of the year category too. So it's just it's really good. It's one big happy family out here in Saskatchewan. So uh, you know, it's just whoever wins, it doesn't really matter. But uh, I do have to say, it's it's, it's an exciting time for sure. Absolutely. Well, we wish you best of luck with that. Now, other than the SCMAs that are coming up, what else is coming up this summer? Uh, This summer, we uh, will be out at uh, Craven Country Jamboree. Excellent. Um, I host their their songwriters cafe I have for the last couple of years. And uh, so it's kind of the same if anybody's been out to the BCMAs, they all know what the songwriters cafe is. So we do that, you know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we have a great panel up there with uh, with us, um, oh, we'll be playing the main stage this year on the Friday, so that's great. Uh, quite happy to get that. Absolutely. Especially with the album coming out, it's a great way to promote it. For sure. And now, do you have kind of a a rough estimated release date for that? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for for the release date for the album. I'm looking for uh, roughly around mid June. It should be out. Excellent. And, um, yeah, I'll be touring quite a bit, um, you know, radio tour and just uh, my, my regular tour as well on top of that to, uh, to promote it. 
Perfect. Well, Alec, thank you so, so much for your time today. Best of luck this weekend, and uh, we look forward to staying in touch with you when the album is released. Well, thank you, Chief.